it's official. We are beginning. Oh, I didn't even write down. What did, what was it yesterday that we called it? Um, um, what would you just say? Writing equations. Writing equations. All right, I'm going to add to it. So yesterday was part one. No, that was part two. That no, was part one. No, yesterday was part one. Today's going to be part two. But I'm going to add to this um, finding the sl finding slope. Well, actually, actually, writing so equations and finding, that's fine, finding slope, okay, then we're going to call this part two. Part one plus one. Yeah. So, first we're going to just review just briefly what we learned yesterday, because we learned a lot of things, and I'm not sure you all realize how much you learned. Um, number one, we learned that if you're given a bunch of information, there are two types of equations that are really useful for taking that information and writing an equation, right? We figured out, we found out that standard form is not really that useful. Remember, there's three useful ways of writing equations, but only two when you're given data that are that to, to create an equation right away. Standard is not one of them. What are they? Uh, point slope, point slope and slope intercept. Point slope, slope intercept, right? <coughs> y equals mx plus b and y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. All right, now we also learned something else, very interesting. We learned that if we had a straight line on a graph, yeah. so let's say we, this one goes through 0, 0, and it goes there, and it goes there, and it goes there, and it goes there. Um, we learned that using point-slope formula, this is one straight line, right? Oops, not a very good drawing, but that's a that doesn't look very straight. Right? So that's a straight line. So we learned that through with a straight line <coughs> using point slope form, we could have three we could have as we could have an infinite number of equations that look totally different, but they're identical. So let's try. What would be the equation of this line right here? So y what's that point? That point is 0 comma 0. Y equals 2. Y minus 0 oh, we're doing this equals um, M. What's the slope? It's uh, a 2 over 1. 2 over, two one. Two over two. 1, so 2. two. And then we'll do X, X minus 0, which is, okay, so it's really just Y equals 2X, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. that, is the, that is an equation for this whole line. Now watch this. What is this? What is the equation for this line? What's that point? That is over one up two. So it's one comma two. Okay. So what's our equation? Y minus you guys into two. Y uh, minus y one. Minus one. <coughs> for this point right here, y minus one. Oh, are you asking? Two one? equals <laughs> yes. I'm asking. You. <laughs> you look, I didn't do anything. No, one, sorry, 2, 1. I read it wrong, sorry. Okay, it's 1, 2. So y minus 2 equals... Oh, yes. Yeah, what's the slope? 1 over 2. No, it's two. up 2 over 1. Up 2. 2 over 2. Over 1. So it's 2 times parentheses x... As long as they have the same slope, they're the same line. Minus 1, right. Look at that. That's interesting. Now, what's this one? This is over 2 up 4. So this is 2 comma 4. So what would that equation be? Y, y minus, minus 4, four equals, equals 2, two times, times x, x minus two. 2. What about this one? That is over 3 up 6. 3, three 6. <laughs> so y, y minus 6, six equals two, 2 times x minus 3. three. Alright, so look at that. The same they look totally different. Y equals 2x. Y minus 2 equals 2 times x minus 1 y minus 4 is equal to 2 times x. I mean, all of those look so different. But they all have the same slope. And two. how would we know that they're exactly the same? Oh, they all have the same slope. How would we know if we didn't <laughs> see the graph itself? How would we know oh. that they're all exactly the same slope? They all have the same slope. They have all the same slope, but what about this? I could have, a, I could have another line that starts here and goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, Progressive up 2 over 1, and look, they're parallel. But they're not. They have the same slope, they're but they don't the have the same, oh. they won't have the same you can't equations. See what, wrote, so I can't say anything. What? Can you write those on the whiteboard where there's not yeah. grid lines and stuff? Yeah, it's, well, it's fine. So we, we, have, know, we, have, we, have, we have several equations. We have y, 
I'll do them, I'll do them this way. We have y minus 6 equals 2 times x minus 3. We have y minus 4 equals 2 times uh, x minus 2. And we have y minus 2. That doesn't look like a 4. Right? Y minus 2 equals 2 times x minus 1. And then lastly, we have y equals 2x. Yeah, look, look, also, 3 and 6, 3 and half of 6, 2 is half of 4, 1 is half of 2. Yeah, and 0 is half of 0. Right? Oh, 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 oh. Or, yeah, whatever. So, yes, go, oh, 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 yes. They, um, What about him? Like, <laughs> I don't know if this is right or anything, but you could multiply 6 by 2 and negative, no, it would be positive 3, and 3 by 4. Well, it is interesting. Look, if you have, you've got, you've got your, this 2, if you multiply the 2 out, that yeah, would become a negative six. 6, right? Yeah. And uh, negative so, 6, by adding uh, 6 on both sides, it becomes y equals 2x. Here, if I multiply 2 times this oh. negative 2, I have negative. You guys have to be careful, though, because you're right near the camera, right? Aww. So I'm hearing everything. I hear all these things, right? Oh. So, but 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So negative 4 and negative 4, if you add 4 to both sides, the 4s cancel out. You get y equals 2x, right? Yeah. So interesting. But really? So if you don't see the graph, actually, and somebody asked you, are these equivalent... <laughs> Equations. What's an equivalent equation? Oh, Landon. Landon, what's an equivalent equation? Like an equation that equals the same thing that's written here? Right. So two equations are actually exactly the same thing. If I graph them on the graph, they'd be the exact same line, right? They're equivalent, right? The only way to tell is to, what did we do yesterday? We turned it into a different format. We turned it into, this is point slope, we turned it into the other one. Slope intercept, y equals mx. Look at this, y equals mx plus b. Oh. If I had if I if I if I did my distributive property and solved for y, I would always get y equals 2x for all of these. Yeah. Right? And then I'd see, oh, they're exactly the same thing. Can you guys yeah, come down? Nice. Alright? I'm gonna have to move you guys if you don't slop stuff, okay? Alright, so that's, don't slop, right? don't slop. Okay, it's important not to slop in my class. So if you solve your problems and they have to equal the same thing, if they don't equal the same thing, then they're not. Alright, let's see. Yeah, okay. yeah. Alright, so that was interesting. So point slope formula means you could have the exact same line, the exact same equation, and it could look totally different because each each one of those equations has a different point on the line as part of the equation, right? Yeah. Right? So there's an infinite number of points, there's an infinite number of equations that if I converted any of them, they'll come into this. They'll turn into y equals 2x. That's interesting. All right. Now, the other thing we learned yesterday, okay, is that your pencil? All right. The other thing we learned today is, I mean yesterday, was that if I gave you two points, and that's it, we could find the slope, right? Yeah. So I gave you two points. I'm going to get rid of this for a second. I'm going to get rid of this mess. But I still want the graph, or a graph. Okay? It would be easier to start again. But I didn't. Okay, let's say I had two points. That's brown. Okay, that works. All right, let's say I have this point here um, and this point here. And I want to know the slope of the line that, that goes, that connects these two points. All right, so I could figure out, well, rise from here, what does it take to get from here to here? I rise how many? One, two, three. So I rose three, and how many do I run? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's rise three over six. So my slope is three over six, which is one half, right? My slope is one half. So I could do that if I have graph paper to find my slope. So I could ask you, now, now that you know how to do that, I could say something like this. 
write an equation of the line that passes through passes through okay two three and uh, what was it? Let's see, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, six, right? All right? And so you guys figured out on the graph that the slope is up, rise three, run six. So it was the slope was three, six, or one half. So now let's figure out what our equation is. We <coughs> rose three, we rose three, we ran six, one half. So if it's one half though, instead of going up three and, and over six, I could go up one and over two, right? And I would still get to those, try that. From here, I'm gonna go up one over two, dot. Up one over two, dot. Up one over two, yes, it works, right? Just by simplifying your three six into one half, wow. you got that. Now, I could also keep going this way. I would have to go down and to the left, right? Down one and over two. Oh, look at that. What is that? What is that point called? South. What is that point called? It's on the y-axis. It's called the y-intercept. So now I asked you to write an equation of the line that passes through those two points. What is it? Y equals one half x. One half is the slope, one half. So we're using, we're using slope intercept, right? We have the slope, and we know the intercept is two, right? One half x is two. There you go. Piece of cake, right? You see what we did? Uh, yeah, why do we have how you get the plus two, though? That's the y-intercept. Ah, because look, we kept going with our down, over, up one over two, and look, oh, it crosses right. the line at two. It crosses oh. the y-axis at two. So that's our y-intercept. So let's try one more like this, and I'm going to show you a shortcut. Wait, right? this like Can I erase this? Three? Wait, there's a three and a six in the points. I don't know, but that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So let's try another one. Let's just, let's just change these points, and we'll change this. I'll leave that there for a second, just because, well, I'll put this over here. Why? In case anybody is still writing. One half x plus two. So now I'm going to erase this. Now let's try this. We're, okay, write an equation of the line that passes through um, negative 1, 3, and I don't know, um, 4, comma, um, 4. 4, comma, 4. So now I've got to get rid of all this stuff, right? All right. So we're going to do that. Negative 1, negative 1, up 3, put a dot. All right, and then 4, 4. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so there's our line. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what that point is, do I? I don't really know that point right now, but I think I could figure it out. I didn't mean to make it that hard, actually, for this one. Maybe I should change those points. Yeah. Should I change the points? I already wrote them down. You already wrote them down. We'll just get, we'll stick with it. We'll stick it. We'll stick with it. Okay. So all my pens are starting to act up. Okay. Write an equation of the line that passes through those two points. What is our slope? One five. We rose once, one, and we ran one, two, three, four, five. We run five. So that's one and five. So it's rot the slope is one fifth, right? So it's like y equals one with x plus one fifth x plus like one. Yeah, so we three. know it's going to be y is it's equal like to one fifth x three. plus whatever the b is. Remember y equals mx plus b? Which we don't know like, what b is. It's like three and a third or like three and a third. So how could we find b? This I didn't mean to do this to you guys, I but but we did this yesterday. Oh, we, I actually showed you another three, way to find B. Oh, you could do slope and intercept? I mean, not slope and intercept, point slope? Uh, 
sort of. Actually, you could do it using slope intercept. What did, what did I give you? I gave you an x and a y here, and I gave you oh, an x you and a y here. So I could actually plug these in. I think maybe I'll just do, yeah. let's see, x. That would be really easy to do 1 fifth times negative 1. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say 3 is equal to 1 fifth times negative 1 plus b. So that is 3 is equal to negative 1 fifth plus b. I'm going to add 1 fifth. Add 1 fifth. b is equal to 3 and 1 fifth. So now I know my equation. Instead of a b, I can put 3 and 1 fifth. Look at that. <coughs> and I could have written it in point slope. So let's write it in point slope now. All oh, right. I sorry. I, I that's a good idea. We could have that would have been easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> good thing you guys are here. We could have written. I did all this work. I didn't have to. Now that I know my slope and I know I could use either point. What's my formula? Y minus y one. Okay, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, which is y minus minus 3 is equal to 1 fifth x minus or minus 1, which is plus 1. Or if I use the other point, I could do y minus 4 is equal to 1 fifth times x minus 4. Right? And they're identical. So both of those are the same, and as is this. If I multiplied these out, I'd get that number, that, that equation. Okay, you with me? Does yeah. that make sense? Am I totally losing you guys? Yes. Really? Ah, yes? Okay, what was your question? I missed it. I don't understand. <laughs> Which part? All of it. Just all of it? That's all? I don't get what you did, though. Oh, piece of cake. No. Um, all right, so do you understand this part? If I plot the point, you know how you understand that I plotted the points, yeah. and you know how I plot this point. Yeah. Now, do you understand how to find the slope from those two points? Rise, okay. Well, the slope, yeah, I know. Slope. Right, but you understand from to get from this point yeah, to this five. point, I'm rising one and running five. Yeah. Right. So I know the slope. As soon as I know the slope, I have point and slope. Point slope formula. Uh, yeah or point slope formula. So I could use either one of those two points with this slope. So that's what we did. We used this point slope formula here. We said y minus 3 is equal to the slope m times x minus a minus 1, which is plus 1. Remember, this, the formula says minus x. The x is already minus 1, so it's minus a minus one, which makes yeah, minus know, minus is plus. How do you get y minus three? Ah, because that's your. This is my y one, and this is my x one. <coughs> so, for my y one and my x one, I'm replacing them with these points. Remember, yeah, with like point slope out. formula, you have a point, and you're just plugging that point in the y into the here. So y minus three is equal to one fifth times x minus minus one, which becomes plus one. Or we could use this point. Same thing. Y minus y minus y one. This is my y one. This is my x one. Y minus four is equal to one fifth times x minus four. Uh, so do you see what I'm doing? Uh, yeah. I'm just plugging the point into the equation into this point slope formula. You've done this before. No, I've only solved this. You've only solved them. Okay, really? Have I not done it this way? So, okay, that's probably, maybe I haven't. So, all, they're so easy with these, when you use this formula. If you have a point, any point, here's another point. We'll say um, 2 comma um, 15. There's a point. Hunter, help me. So it's going to be y Minus, uh, y minus 15. Yes, y minus 15 is equal to, and the slope, we'll say the slope is um, 3. Equals 3, parenthesis. Uh, x minus 2. You got it. Piece of cake. That's it. So if you have a point, 
and you have a slope, you can write an, an equation instantly. And if you, you can also do it via slope intercept, but it's a little harder. You have to do this extra step to solve for b. I don't really care if you, if you all understand this part. I care that you understand this, that you have a slope and a point, and you can create it. You can write an equation as soon as you have those two things. All right? So, now, we've been doing it the hard way. It's actually not that hard. It's just that, but you do have to graph it. You have to have graph paper. So I'm going to show you another way which makes it very quick and very easy. It might seem a little confusing at first, but it's not. So you guys have to write this down because this is really important. Okay? You don't. You don't need graph paper for this. How do you convert it again? What? Say what? Oh, I didn't catch it. Uh, what was the last you, part of the point? How do you make the point slope y-intercept? Alright, somebody asked how do you make the point slope formula? If you had, I'll just write any, can I just write anything up here? So y minus 2 is equal to uh, 3 times x minus 1, right? So he was asking how do I turn point slope into oh, slope okay. intercept? What is slope intercept? What's the formula? Y equals. Y equals. Y equals. Y equals. What's in the way of y equals? Minus the minus two. But before I can well, add two to both sides, I got to get rid of these darn parentheses. So I'm just going to use the distribute property. Y minus two is equal to three x minus three. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I add two. I add two. Add two. I have y equals. There we go. As soon as I have y equals, I'm in slope intercept form, basically, right? Long as it says y equals 3x minus 1. Exactly. Does that make sense? So that's how you always, so it's very easy to use point slope form and then convert it really fast to slope intercept. Very easy. Sorry. All right. So I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to leave this up. Is it really snowing again? No, it was just like Can I erase this? That what this is called? This is called converting. Just so you have it, if you want to put it in your notes, converting. What is it? Point slope. to slope intercept, right? This is the way my lectures sometimes are. This is, I'm going place, places I wasn't planning on going, but I did it anyway. So there. Sub-lecture. Sub-lecture of the main lecture. Okay. Can I erase yet? Yeah. All right, well, I want to erase. I'm going to write down a very famous formula. Oh, is it it's called the slope. With the big in it? No, <laughs> but it is still very famous, and it is called the slope formula. You got to all write this in your notes. You have to know this. You have to memorize this. This is called the slope formula, not the slope intercept formula. Slope. That's where people get confused. It's the, just the plain old slope formula. And I'm going to write it the shortcut way, and then I'm going to write it out the long way. You write it both ways. So M, M stands for slope, right? Mm -hmm. Equals, I'm going to write, this is the shortcut way. This is the way I usually think of it. The chain, that means, that's a little triangle, and it means the change in, right? So the change in Y over the change in X. Change in Y. <laughs> over the change in x. So Make sure this is in your notes, Adam, okay? Yeah, I'm getting a pencil then okay. Now that can be expanded. I'll explain this in a minute. That can be expanded to this. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? You with me so far? 
So the slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x, which is the same thing as y2, meaning one of the y's minus the other y, all over that one, one of the, the x's minus, minus the other x. Now let's see if that works. Oh, I'm going to erase this one. Yeah, so if you get two oh. points, if you've been given two points, right? Let's say write an equation of a line that passes through um, 5 and 10, 5, 10, and um, Nine, 1, 11, comma, 10, 11, 15. 15, okay? It's going to be a curvy line. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to figure this out right now. So my slope is... Y, I'm going to take one. whatever I start with, whichever point I start with. If I start with the y of this point, I've got to start with the x of this point. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. You can't start with this y and then start with this x. Then it won't work. All right? You guys with me? You have to start with the same thing. I'm, you know, if you start with this point, the first number is going to be 10 for the y, and the first number is going to be 5 for the x. You can't jump around. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make right now I'm gonna make this x x two and y two and I'm gonna make this x one and y one doesn't matter which one you make x two and y two and x one and y one could have done it reverse but I'm gonna start this way ten right the formula is this one minus this one minus fifteen over five minus one equals, what's 10 minus 15? Negative 5. Negative 5. What is 5 minus 1? 4. four. So my, my slope is negative, negative 5 fourths. fourths. Which is negative 1 and 4. Right, negative and 1 and 1 fourths. And then plug that into with your points. So now that we and know our, and, yes, so we now have, now that we have our slope, you can use either one of these points to write your equation. Let's write it. Y, let's use this one. Y minus... 10 equals my slope, negative 5 fourths, x minus 5. Or I could do y minus 15 equals negative 5 fourths, so x minus thing, 1. Right? Say what? They're equivalent, so it's the same thing, right? Exactly. I only have to write one of them. I don't have to write them both. If you want to, unless I specifically say on a test or something, write, both, write an equation. Would you then write two separate problems? Yeah, I but might write, then I'd write this one. Y minus 15, 15 is equal to negative 5 fourths x minus, minus one, 1, right? Yeah. Right? Gotcha. But usually you only, if they just write, say just write an equation, like this is worded, you just need an equation. That's an equation. Either one of them. Right? So let's try another one. Wait, Let, okay, okay. Let's say, what? Erase. Don't erase it? Okay. So here's another one. I'm going to erase this part, though. I'm going to change the points. I'm going to make it a little harder. Oh, but I want to show you another thing. What were the points again? What were they? 5, 10, and 115. 5, 10, and 115. Look at this. I made, I made this one x2 and y2, didn't I? Watch this. I'm going to make it x1 and y1. I'm going to make this x2 and y2. And I'm just going to see, show you what happens. It makes no difference. It'll just make the bottom one Watch. negative. So remember, so we're going to, we're going to do it again. So m is equal to y2, so that's 15, minus 10, over 1 minus 5. The bottom one's which means the bottom is a negative, so it's going to be 5 over so negative, negative 1, I mean negative two. 4, which is the same thing as negative 5 fourths. Right? Doesn't matter if there's only one negative in the denominator, that's it then the whole fraction is negative. If the negative is in the numerator, the whole fraction is negative. You with me? Yeah. Let's, try, let's try one more. I'm going to make it a little harder. Though. Where people screw up on these are the negatives. Watch this. What if I gave you this? Negative 3, comma, 6, and negative um, um, 8, comma, negative 2. All right? Can I erase? Yeah. Negative 2. So here we go. M. 
The change in the y's. So which one am I going to make? Six. So you want to start with this one? Okay, so this is going to be my x2 and my y2. This is going to be my x1, my y1. So y2, 6 minus two. a negative 2. Six. 6 minus a minus 2. What does that mean? Plus 2. Right? And that's going to become plus, right? You guys with me on that? Mm -hmm. Minus a minus. Now I'm just going to make it a plus. Over negative 3 minus <gasps> negative 8. So what do I do here? Negative 3 plus 8. Plus 8. So that gives me 8 over, what is 8 minus 3? 10. 5, right? 8 minus 3. Or negative 3 plus 8 is also the same as 8 minus 3, which is 5. So my, form, my, my slope is 8 fifths. So then I could write my equation, y, uh, y, y minus 6 is equal to 8 fifths x minus a minus 3 plus 3, right? How did he get plus again? Where? Here? No. Here? Because it's minus a minus. Because it's 6. Remember, the formula has the minus in it. So if, if, if this formula has a minus in it, then if the point has a minus in it too, 6 oh, minus a minus 2 yeah. becomes positive 2. See what I mean? Yeah. Right? All right, that's it. Wait. That's that's the lecture. Question? I have, those, I have a question. Yeah. So if you write out your formula, yeah. so the part of the slope you made, the x and y are the same, Oh, yeah, but you don't have to use these x1, y. That's only for the slope, finding the slope. Okay. And then you can use either point for the okay. other equation. That's a good question. So for me, though, this is how I remember it. The slope is the change in y over the change in x. And that makes a lot of sense. If I got up this morning and the temperature was 2 degrees, and then I came to teach math class, and the temperature was 30 degrees, what's the change in temperature? Um, triangle X. 28. 28. How'd you get it? Magic. Yeah. Magic, right. You subtracted, right? The change means subtract. To find the change in something, it means you subtract. So if you say the change in y, it means one y subtracted from another y, right? The minus. change in x is x subtracts minus another x, right? But it's y two so, because. And just you just have to remember if you're going to start with this this six, you got to start with this negative three. You got to start with the x and y at the same point, right? Whichever point you start with. That's it. So this took way longer than I planned, but that's okay.